I was 30 weeks pregnant and got COVID pneumonia. I was there in the ICU for four days um, before they decided to ventilate me. I could tell she was really struggling to breathe. And then the next day, Suzanne called me and, and notified me that they'd be delivering Remy. I happened to be the South 6 interim ICU manager, but I also, my history is labor and delivery, right? She had probably the biggest birthday party North Memorial's ever seen. <laughs> there was every team from anesthesia to labor and delivery to NICU to adult ICU. Nobody had ever seen a section done up in the adult ICU. And Caitlin, fortunately, once they delivered the baby, slowly got better. I honestly thought through a lot of it that Remy would make it home before I did, <laughs> just because I was not in great shape. They're quite little fighters. They, they, will, they will surprise you every day. <laughs> the Beats of Courage program is something that was new to us that we learned about in the NICU. Every day that the baby is there and getting their cares and everything, they get a bead for their accomplishments. And it's just a big visual representation of all that she went through. Again, it goes back to, I think, the empathy that they had for us. And there's so many things that we can look back on and really feel like you're a part of that experience. And they went so above and beyond what I ever expected for a NICU team. Nobody plans to come to the NICUs, and that's one of the things I always tell parents is, we know that this is not your first place you thought you would be when you found out you were pregnant, but we're here to support you. Seeing successes like this one really just make me want to come to work every day. Her time there was so meaningful to that team. There isn't a department in this hospital that wasn't touched by their story. I'm really glad we were here at North <laughs> because I think they saved her life and they made the right decisions at the right time to do that. She'll always be a miracle in our lives.